Um, analysts, they have an average buy rating on Pepsi, average price target of 194. That's a 20 percent upside. Are you as bullish as the analysts are? And what are you looking for in today's report? Well, I I hate to 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 create short term predictions on a stock like Pepsi. We've been long term holders since 1984. So we're very familiar with Pepsi's performance through different economic cycles, through different inflation and interest rate environments, too. So taking a step back, demand for snacks and beverages typically remains resilient during economic cycles. That was on full display in the most recent quarter when Pepsi was able to do a beat and raise quarter. They beat on the top line. Revenue organic growth was up 13 percent. They beat on the bottom line. They increased expectations for fiscal year on the top and bottom line, too. That's not happening often. So that is proof of their purchasing power. We expect that purchasing power to remain intact. We're interested to see what's going to change. Are they able to continue increasing prices? Um, how is the consumer feeling? Our expectation okay. is that they're going to keep doing OK. All right. Let me ask you how you're feeling. I want to talk about valuation in this higher for longer environment all week long. We're talking about the increase in bond yields. Obviously, they've eased back after what happened in Israel uh, as investors go to safety, but still elevated historically right now. Looking at Pepsi's forward earnings, about 20 times forward earnings, pretty close to rival Coke when it comes to P.E. Um, are you comfortable with that valuation as a long term shareholder? You bet. So there have been times where Pepsi has traded well above 25 times earnings, in addition to last year when it did back in the late 90s. And there have been times where it's been a, a 15 P.E. stock. If we look at the trajectory of earnings through 2027, we expect somewhere around 8 percent annualized growth on earnings. Then we have a 3.2 percent dividend yield that is strongly covered and growing 5 percent per year. So 8 percent earnings growth plus 3.2 percent dividend yield gives us a double digit, a low double digit uh, okay. return. Then from a valuation perspective, we think call it 21 to 22 times forward earnings is fair. So there may be a little bit of a valuation uh, expansion, a multiple expansion. All right, Jeremy, we're looking at the portfolio of products for PepsiCo right now. Doritos, I'm a big fan. Um, I like to eat a lot of them, but there is some concern about Ozempic and other weight loss drugs. Uh, Pepsi shares have actually fallen pretty hard since a Walmart executive flagged the weight, dr weight loss drug risk to their business. Um, are you concerned long term about that when it comes to Pepsi stock? I'm not as concerned long term. I think at the center of Pepsi's portfolio product innovations are zero sugar products. So in addition to the zero sugar products, of course, they have Life Water and Aquafina. They have partnerships with Tropicana Brands Group. So they're, they're able to distribute and sell zero sugar juices and other plant-based products. They also have healthy snacks. So I think they can capture or maintain some of the, the healthy okay. eaters that they currently have.